This morning, tens of thousands of ballots still needed to be counted. By 3.30 this afternoon, the job was done. Election officials work around the clock to count ballots, with the exception of a break to rest last night beginning around 10.30. The Bipartisan Election Board got, decided last night that we were not going to be able to get finished at any hour that could be reported and people would, you know, we had at least eight to nine hours left. So we decided to close it down, go home, get some rest so we wouldn't be so tired and then come back today when we're fresh and start all over again. We took a behind the scenes look at the election office, watching as the last thousand ballots were counted. With the hours ticking by, plenty of people in the tri-state were left asking, what's taking so long? I'm told the equipment couldn't work fast enough to keep up with the thousands of ballots. Despite having to continue counting for a second day, County Clerk Marsha Barnhart believes these elections are secure. It's under lock and key. We've got cameras on all, all of it. I showed you one of the cameras back there. Um, it's all done by bipartisan team. Every decision is made by, by, by bipartisan election board. It was, just, uh, it was just too busy for us to be able to get it done last night. The un, 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 uncounted ballots that we had to leave last night when we closed up were put in this tub. These are the, the security locks. One, one had a red lock, one of them had a blue lock. Had the Republican and the Democrat. Both were here. They locked this down and took the keys with them last night. Barnhart tells me she wants help from the General Assembly to make sure that Vanderburg can continue counting ballots quickly, especially in the upcoming elections. From your local election headquarters, I'm Ben Walls, Eyewitness News.